CCTV footage from multiple areas show the shooters of yesterday's murder in Beliata fleeing the scene in their SUV. Investigators are paying special attention to one particular footage which shows one of the men inside the SUV exiting the vehicle in Kamrupitiya Matara. Police said they are conducting investigations to apprehend suspects based on CCTV footage and mobile forensics. Five people, including the leader of the Ape Janabala party, Saman Pereira, were killed in a shooting which occurred in close vicinity to the Beliatta entrance to the expressway last morning. The shooting was carried out by a group travelling in an SUV when Saman Pereira and others had stopped the Defender SUV they were travelling in opposite an eatery and were entering the premises. Eyewitnesses revealed that the assassins, carrying two T-56 firearms, had opened fire at the defender while entering the eatery. They had given chase to Saman Pereira, the leader of the Ape Janabala party, who had rushed into the eatery and had cornered him before firing. Four victims of the shooting had died on the spot, while another passed away upon admission to hospital. Along with Saman Pereira, Ille Kutige Samira Madhusanka, Elias Suratala, Vidaran Lage Hasit Sanju, Buddhikaraj Paksa, and Kannangara Koral Lage Nalin Champika Jayatilaka lost their lives following the shooting. The judicial inquest on the deceased was carried out this morning at the Tangol Base Hospital. The remains will be handed over to relatives once preliminary investigations are complete. Saman Pereira, who was functioning as the leader of the Ape Janabala party, was a candidate at the 2019 presidential election. Samir Madhushankar, alias Suratala, who was also killed, had contested from Gol, representing the Ape Janabala party, during the last general election. What was the motive behind these murders? Although the police have not announced a definitive reason for the murders, details on the victims' actions in the past have now been unearthed. On the 5th of June 2022, an individual named Asun Chamara and three others who were travelling in a vehicle were shot dead. The Tangol police arrested five people from time to time in connection to this shooting, including the gunman and those who aided the crime. Ille Kuttige Samir Ramadushanka alias Suratala, who was among the victims of yesterday's shooting, was also a suspect in that case. Upon interrogation, he had revealed that Saman Pereira had provided him protection. Saman Pereira and the others were on their way for a hearing of that particular case yesterday when the shooting took place. Reports claim two men who are connected to a court case concerning a death of an individual named Asela Sampat from Kudavelle, which occurred on the 5th of June 2023, were also among those who were killed yesterday. Following the last general election, a controversy arose over who should be nominated for the parliamentary seat assigned to the Ape Janabala party. The secretary of the party at the time, Venerable Vedeni Gama Vimalati Satera, was reported missing during the time. He later reappeared and claimed publicly that he was kidnapped. However, the parliamentary seat was eventually assigned to Venerable Aturariye Ratanathera. Asela Dharmasri, the former media spokesman of the party, had posted the following on social media after Saman Pereira's murder. Extract from Post a few days ago, he called me and revealed that the party will enter an alliance and for me to rally all the supporters. End of extract. However, police have not confirmed whether this murder was politically motivated. They surmise it could be the culmination of a dispute between two rival underworld gangs in the South.